Hello everyone, just giving a little two-year review after having this G4 Elite folded cover. Uh, just a little bit about it. It's a very heavy-duty, uh, it has an integrated lock on both ends near the driver and near the rear tailgate. Everything is stainless steel, hinges, water-resistant seal, rigid aluminum frame, and it's all UV coated and all that stuff. So. Here's the cover, just uh, you can see some of the gaps near the end of near the tailgate and also near here and here's the strap there. This little weather seal surprisingly has held up after all these years. And the, right there, the lever still works, lock still works, I'll test it out in a little bit. Here's just a different angle of me undoing it. And after all these years, it's still pretty easy to pop it up and put it back down. The only big complaint I would have is when it's really, really cold out, all the locks freeze and water gets in there and it freezes up and it's impossible to unlock your cover. So I, if I know it's going to be uh, freezing cold or anything, I usually just leave it unlocked because there's no way of uh, sticking your key in the keyhole. I wish there was another way or a way around this, but... If you do, leave it in the comments. This is to show you just how strong it is after a couple years. Uh, I'm about 135 pounds, and sitting on this, it can hold up to 150 to close to 200 pounds. So I usually don't carry anything on top of this, but just to know the aluminum and the frame workmanship is uh, still holding up well. Here's a different angle of me walking on top of it. You can tell everything is looks pretty much brand new. It's UV fade resistance. All the sun and stuff we've had over here in the northwest this year, I mean, it still looks brand new. So here's a different angle. Here's a lock for the caddy. And here's a lock for the tailgate. Uh, I'll try to do this one hand. It's It's kind of hard. Let's see. So yep, everything still works, surprisingly, but if you need a new replacement, a key or a lock, you can always just contact them and they'll send you a new one. There's a three-number three, uh, three number serial on each of the locks and keys to match, so here's the caddy, which I'll also review, and I haven't used much, I mean, I carry a bunch of stuff in there, but I don't even check in here, it's usually a lot of emergency supplies and stuff, and food, and chains, and the last few years I just haven't had much need but when I do it's nice I carry uh, tow ropes and stuff it comes in really handy and keeps your uh, cockpit clutter free only downside is I do carry long items like uh, kayaks and stuff from Home Depot and it does cut your uh, cargo box down to about a foot and a half so that's just another thing to keep in mind so just to show you some of the gear I keep in there. I keep a, some food, a toolbox, a bunch of random bags, Ziploc bags, and but yeah, overall this carries a bunch of gear, keeps it all waterproof. Here's a nice little bat, some uh, bungees and stuff. All right, just to show you inside. It's a modification just for the stuff that I do carrying kayaks. I just don't want the nose of my kayaks to hit anything. So the foam inserts on the caddy box. A little rust here. Uh, overall, the seam has worked very well. I've had, we live in the northwest up in Seattle and all the rain and everything. The only spots that I do see water get in pretty, pretty significantly is in the, near the lock which I taped, put a little piece of tape into the lock, there's a little drain hole there and that seems to always make a little puddle in the overall the seams of all the corners where most rain would come in, that's all sealed up. 